Welcome back to Mad Cardigan and our clear the mat okay, playthrough of Fallout 4. Shut up, Preston. Hey, dog meat. What's going on, buddy? Looking good today. What do we got going on here? Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Don't let me get lonely. Okay. Not ready to rescue Nick yet. Hmm. Take a look. Let's, uh, let's make ourselves streamlined. Make sure we're streamlined. And always, always, always keep a blow flag land on you. It's for luck. Trust me. Okay. I know I have to get. That's one of the side missions. What we're going to do today is try to clear up a bunch of stuff for Diamond City. There's a lot of XP to be gained in this town. So uh, I'm going to take a little route that I know pretty well. And I'll uh, bring you guys along with me. Don't trip. Watch out for bears. Don't feed the bears. Okay, dog meat. I know you want to go see Dancy Pants. But we got other business to attend to. So follow me. Still got my trusty laser rifle. Going right over there to the Beantown Brewery, I believe. We're just going to grab it as a waypoint. Because we're going to need it in the future. Okay, there's usually a an event that triggers on this bridge. Whether it's scabbers or super mutants or whatever. Oh, today we get mines. Probably more dangerous than either of the other two things I just mentioned. And I couldn't remember if sneaking allowed me to get past them, but I guess I'm not that good yet. This is a huge thing in Fallout 3 and, and uh, New Vegas is deactivating mines. <laughs> Fallout 4, you get that perk to where if you're sneaky enough, you can walk right over those things. So let's continue on. This is where you get the beer in this um, part of the, this neck of the woods. We'll just continue on. Grab another waypoint real quick. And this is one of those areas where anything can happen. You know, it's just random events. That's the great thing about Bethesda games is you don't know what the hell's going to happen. You walk through the same place a hundred times and a hundred different things are going to pop up. Or nothing, which I prefer when I'm at this low level. Oberlin, just a settlement. A couple of nice ladies live here. Not ready to have dialogue with them yet. Just grab it as a waypoint. Now if you can see that faint icon of a vault in my compass at the bottom, that's kind of the direction I'm heading. I want to grab that as a waypoint as well. I'm not going to go inside. It has its own side quest. There's even a follower in there. But most importantly, there is a legendary weapon that you can just buy pretty damn cheaply too. And I'm having this moral dilemma, this struggle on whether I'm going to actually buy legendary weapons. Because this thing is truly overpowered. So, I mean, don't judge me too hard if I do. You know, I, I like... I want to be a superhero when I play games, you know. My... my Regular life is boring enough, so when I get in here, I don't want to struggle. I'm not playing fucking Elden Ring here or anything, you know what I mean? So. And by the way, I don't think I'll ever play Elden Ring, but who knows? Depends on what you guys want to see. If you want me to pull what's remaining of my hair out, I might do it one day. I'm having a hell of enough time just playing Dead Space, the new remake. If you haven't seen that yet, check that one out. That's a hell of a game with no lights in a, on and a headphones on. No lock can withstand me. Yes. As long as it's a novice. Okay. And here there's kind of a niche weapon. Syringer rifle. I've seen playthroughs of, you know, people that have used this thing. And it's fun to mess with. It's almost like having spells in Skyrim, another Bethesda game. You know, you can make people do stuff they wouldn't normally do. 
you know, it's, uh, but you have to shoot them with a gun in order to do it. It's not as effective as spells, you know, and it's, it can be entertaining, but if you're doing a serious playthrough, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, so. But, I'm a hoarder, so I grab everything. And I don't believe it's the only syringer in the game. Um, actually, in the, the TV series, they have syringer pistols, like in the vaults right at the beginning, which is kind of weird, because I don't, I don't remember ever having a, a syringer pistol. So that's kind of odd. Maybe you folks know the lore a little bit better where that gun came from, but hell, I was waiting for the lady in the series to whip out the cry later <laughs> right off the bat since that was in a vault and see if it was as worthless in the show as it is in the game. By the way, I just watched that series again for the second time and it just dawned on me that that girl's the, uh, the main... Uh, protagonist in that is uh, Lucy McLean and uh, for those of you who don't know that's uh, Bruce Willis's daughter in Die Hard is Lucy McLean I believe it's spelled different but it's the same name so I thought that was kind of funny I was impressed with myself my big brain working uh, dealing with bugs always dealing with bugs Funnily enough, the harder difficulty you get, these are, they're so hard to hit. You know, if you don't have really good bat skill or uh, really good aim, much better than I do, then these little bugs zipping around can be a real pain in the butt. I think I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I need a throwing arc. I need to see where these things are going to land. You get the throwing arc for grenades and molotovs and you can pinpoint them through windows and stuff. It's pretty cool real life I couldn't hit the side of a barn with whatever the hell I threw just then okay did I get all of them nope there's a blood fly oh yeah he saw me come on just get closer I need uh, let's try it 64 oh that was way off that was funny come on let's see oh come on aim come on you madman It's like 20, 20 rounds on a fly. I know I should grab that Brahmin hide. I know it's leather, but you'll get plenty of leather just picking up pieces of armor and stuff. I said, uh, what are you looking at? Just went, Oh, okay. All right. Good eye, dog meat. It's another teddy bear for you, buddy. Good boy. Okay. I hate monkeys in this game love monkeys normally and when okay okay pencils for lead you never know that is a little circuit breaker ow okay shit i didn't even know that thing would actually hit me okay yeah 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 but that thing if you can sneak in there is a way to take care of those bugs it's a little funny bug zapper i thought it was pretty cool so there's a nasty little safe over here, which most people don't have master lock by now, if you're doing the normal continuation of the game. But if you check out old Edwin's terminal, he'll give you a hint as to uh, find the key for that thing. I don't need to play the tape. But, uh, or reject it, I'm sorry. Just look at his logs. Always check the, check the last thing of everyone. That's usually where the hint is. Uh, the boat flipped over. What a coincidence. Dog meat. Did you see a boat when you were swimming? Yep. There it is. I don't suppose I could convince dog meat to go and get the thing for me. Eh, okay. Now, if you had the Aqua Boy or Aqua Girl perk, you could just hop on in there and not get rads, but I do have it. Or I don't have it, so I'm going to need to take some Rad X. I guess I better put that in my hot bar. Get my medicines going. Yep, yep, yep. I wonder if that's Edwin. I can't remember what that thing actually said. We grabbed his key. Hold him a stem pack. Some water smells. Rads aside, the amount of dead things in these waters, I can't believe you can swim in them at all. 
Okay. Oh, and I already see there's more enemies outside ready to come and get me. This is a nice little safe to get. It's got some money in there, some decent stuff. No good weapons or anything. Hoping for a, an update weapon, but no. Okay, the bugs are out there. What? Oh, what the hell? Come on, hit the switch. Shit. Oh, damn. Oh, that little son of a bitch came in through the roof. You never had one hit me from behind like that. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bug zap them. Zap, zap. Oh, get the board. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if that safe was worth it. Almost died to bugs. Magically, if you sleep on a nasty mattress, it completely restores your health. Wasteland ain't so bad. I got something on my shirt, though. Okay, okay. I know there's more bugs over there. Eh, I'm tired of bloat flies. Blood bugs. So I'm kind of making my way back to Diamond City right now. Just kind of sneak your way up the hill here. And uh, the little chemist in Diamond City was looking for a mutated fern. And they are all over the place, really, but this is just a one that I know is here. So just grab one of those. Okay. Kind of sneak between these buildings here. Now that lady is calling for help, but you know how it is in the wasteland. Everybody's being sneaky. They're trying to get you into a trap. Going so to I'm going to go in the back way. What's taking so long? So now you're in the basement of the building she was there. trying to lure this you into. Like a good mark, so just shut up and wait. And there's a named bad guy in there. He's not terribly Maybe difficult to kill. There. I think his name is Should Demo or something like that. Down. Ditto. I don't know. Um, so they see all these victims that they lure in and kill them and strip them. Got a nice little chest here. Oh, flannel shirt and jeans. I do like That's one of my favorite outfits in this. Kind of, not completely, but mirrors comfort clothes that I normally wear. If I was in the wasteland, I'd be wearing the most comfortable thing I could find and then slapping some armor on top of it. So, Either that or a sailor's outfit. That'd be cool, too. I was never in the Navy. I was in the Army and in the Air Force. But uh, the Navy has the cutest uniforms. Little hats. See the last one we tried to pull in? With all the grenades? Oh, no, I was out doing my rounds. What about them? Well, Becca pulled them into the front of the store. And everything seemed These guys are right? talking about how she lures people in. Because he I guess what that be? That gets you shot. <laughs> well, kind of get you sure, but I'm just scaring him to death, shooting right next to him. Take your shotgun shells for the 20 rounds I just shot at you. Another hunting rifle. I'll be using a hunter rifle a lot once I can, you know, upgrade it and put a nice scope on it. And the suppressor is the big deal. So, definitely want the suppressor. Got to get my, my sneakiness going on. Okay, now we're going to go get the stuff for Mo. Get his uh, baseball memorabilia. See if we can't help him out. These are pretty easy little quests that you can do. They just want to keep you in the. Ooh, I walked right into that barrel. Keep you in the. Uh, you know, keep your leveling up before you venture too far from Diamond City. Go down here and get this stuff. And if you think it's just going to be walk in, grab some stuff, and walk out with no little nasties or creatures, then you're crazy. This is a Fallout game. I 
nice little estate he had here, a little fenced in grounds with a looks like a guard house, a couple of houses. A nice place once. I wish you could have kind of made this a uh, settlement. That would have been pretty neat. It's got like a little playground for the kids in back. It's pretty cool. But alas, it's been taken over by Meyerlurks. When Meyerlurks show up, there goes the neighborhood. Alright, first piece of memorabilia. And somehow they sense that you get that glove because that's when they all of a sudden pop out of nowhere. Or unless you go step on them. Come on, you son of a bitch. There you go. I knew you were there somewhere. Now these guys, don't shoot them in the shell. You'll waste all your ammo. Got a lot of high percentages, but nothing... They don't have any soft bits that I can get a shot at. Oh, there we go. A little closer shot on him. Oh, come on. All right, buy some bonds. Do you take caps? Yep, not even much more. Dog meat's pretty good, but he normally can't take care of one of those by himself. Got some eggs over there. Live and let live with those things. Eggs are just a, a nuisance. Okay, got stuck on the jungle gym. Okay, there we go. And stuck again. Yeah, the eggs, you, know, you have to kill them individually, and they're just a pain unless you waste a grenade or Molotov on them. So I usually don't mess with them if I don't have to. Okay, and now we got Mr. Third. All right, keep looking at me. You know what? If I can get a sneak shot first try. Dang it. The sneak's not hitting very well. I think it's horrible. See how many rounds you waste. Shoot him in the shell. And he's just like, fuck it. Somebody else shooting at him? Yeah, you're welcome over there. Hope you like crab. Okay, back to business. Another one of these expert novice locks. Oh, nice. It is nice. Alright, got the glove, got the ball. Well, I need the card still. Okay. There's another chest over here. Oh, man, that scared me. All right. Most valuable thing I've found so far. Here, anyway. Acrobatic. I guess they killed that thing. Good job, guys. It's usually, I think, a couple of settlers over there, just regular folks wandering around. I think I weakened him for him, or he would have probably ate them both. Claw them, whatever the hell crabs do. Nibble them to death. Give them crabs. Bingo. All right. Permanent. I like those just across the board. There you go. Got them all. Is there anything else? I don't think it's just a bucket. A chair in a bucket. I don't know what the hell they were doing over here. All right. Let's go back and talk to Mo. So now I have a couple of quests I can turn in. And if you're wondering, back at the beginning of this, um, I started in, or I ended in Diamond City and started in Sanctuary. The audio, for some reason, in the last couple of minutes just totally went haywire during the recording, so I had to cut it off. Sorry about that. Nothing exciting. I just finished talking to Arturo, uh, got his money, and then went talk to Crazy Myrna, which is kind of entertaining. You know, she thinks you're a synth and stuff like that. And took some money from her. And that was about it. And I think I, that's when I got the uh, uh, the quest for the mutated fern as well. But no fights. Nothing exciting. I didn't die. And then, you know. <laughs> or maybe I did. You'll never know. Hey, you nope. We're still zero right? deaths. And yes, I was Bolt in the paper. dweller with a thousand guinea pigs? Mm-hmm. What kind of twisted experiment was that? You want all their autographs? I can't believe you eat that fool. Only one thing worth buying. Hey, a find crowd it. going on over here. Everybody talks over each other in, in Bethesda games. It's hilarious. 
Can't get a word in edgewise with these folks. Redim, I need to talk. Just Never been up in the stands? I am in middle Let's of just story. say they can so afford a lot. That guy looks like he wants to talk to me. Wearing nothing but with the light smile. shining on him. But I think he's going to wait until I talk to some of my favorites, the Bobrov brothers. This is probably what I'd be doing if I was in the wasteland and running like a bar somewhere. Points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk Tell me your woes, really stranger. I forgot and I would make my brother just clean up the back what room and stuff. That sounds you know about what? right. Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Mm-hmm. Back in your hole. Hey there. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> See this hat? I killed him. No, no, I didn't. I stole I it from a dead body. I <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. I'm not here I've to get got drunk. A few minutes to browse. Good. Good. But I will take that little piddly amount of money that you got. Always get rid of my 38s. Never need them. Don't think I'll need that many. I don't use automatic weapons in this one, so don't need thousands of rounds of anything. Oh shit, having to do math. 19 and 30, 134. Boom, nailed it. Big brain. It's a total yeah. guess. We need yeah, to now have he wants a conversation. To we have the same hat, man. Okay, let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous I situations. I handle myself frequently. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. All right. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will Boom. be well paid. The hat did it. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Yeah, you'll see me eventually. I like his armor, though. It's combat armor. It's pretty, pretty nice stuff. Okay... Got so many different things going on here right now. I need to turn in a bunch of stuff. Moe's sitting there eating his dinner, but I don't, I don't even think he'll turn in your quest right now. Bases on the ground. If you know you can run the bases in Diamond City. Okay, Science Center. This is where my lucky bloatfly gland is going to go. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh, no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, sleeping on the floor. Since from the ground using recombinant. Have, oh no, you nuclei? don't have one bed in here. I mean, how could they? You are scientist uh, in love. You do want to talk about it? Uh, oh look, we have a visitor, Doctor Duff, dear. If you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Mm-hmm. Sure. Sounds fun. Yes. Love that enthusiasm. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. And that's now, what made the Hulk what he was. Bad. Did you know that? Really bad. Dr. Duff? If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Mm, yeah. Yes, very interesting. That's what science is all about. Nothing stays the same. Everything reacts. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Or am I? Sign me up. You're going to go out and find a bloat fly gland. You're you going to give me money for it. The oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. 
Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. I know all about it. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I do a job. I get paid. Money? Oh, oh I'm almost there. Um, how about uh, 125 Yeah, caps? see this squishy thing in my pocket? We're talking hunting a giant mutated bug. I got one already. There's risks. This isn't about money. This is about science. I'm dapper, but not that dapper yet. I think I have something already. That a boy? Who's my favorite junior scientist? You are. Here's a little something for you. Don't spend it all in one place. That's all I care about. Gave me a level. If this lady, I've never talked to her. If she has Professor anything Scarra. interesting to say. She seemed like a kind of a moody lady. She's not enjoying science as much as Duff is. Dr. Duff handles all the visitors. Bother her. Ah, I see. There's my true to form. scientist. Hope you're continuing your own biological field work. That's all I do, lady. Nothing interesting in there that I could steal. Okay, what's next that I can do in the middle of the night? Can I talk to the kid? Yeah, he's doing his little thing Shane, with the what guard. About keeping the lake clean? It'll make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that... Now what I should have done a little while ago, hot bar, my red X comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Chang. It's a profit hazard is what I say. I manage the water. And I'll do it without your interference. Thank you very much. Never trust a little bald kid. I think hey. that kid's on the way to be a school. Hey, brothers I'd are love to chat, you. but I don't have time. Ah, it's got to be daytime. I guess it's not regular business hours for Can't him. Talk now. Some other time. Okay, fine, Chang. Okay, got the cue for the... There's the second base. Where it is? Something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft. Every time you walk past a guard, they'll give you a new map marker. It's pretty cool. Okay, Bobrov wants to talk to me. Investigate the Museum of Witchcraft. That is way north, and I recommend you don't go there until you are a much higher level. You when we get there, you'll see why. Here we go. Try it. It runs with meth claw. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. Okay, let's calm down here. I don't think I noticed. Since I can't listen, listen to the radio anyway. It grates on ears like sand. Copyright. Paper. This DJ Travis, he is disaster. Something must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. Vadim. It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Hmm. Let's not do that. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. All right. That's enough. You're enough. Him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay. What's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. You guys have a hell of a <laughs> sense of humor around here. I love the Russian accent. It's a little change from the Bostonites. It's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, 
That can always be turned around. Exactly. This is what I'm telling Yefim. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Yeah, we don't need you, you fiend. Back room. We discuss plan. Party pooper. Okay, now where's I going? I got a door here. Getting turned around backwards. I'm eventually going to have to wait till daytime to turn in some of these quests. Get the guys back to their, their little kiosks. You find that fern? Should be. Oh, that's my problem. Got up. Oh, they automatically slapped the Museum of Witchcraft. Okay, I need the confidence, man. I knew I was getting confused. Now I need to go back in the bar and talk to Vadim. Sorry about that. I'm old. Even though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a small vice. A quick drink after work. <laughs> you have more okay. than one small vice. Let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'm just waiting to hear your idea. Travis needs boost of confidence. Good old blocking you my view here. You know what I said for him? Winning a bar fight. There we go. I'm sure you've been in one, yes? Not in I'm this not game. some thug. I don't get involved in stuff like yeah. that. Ugh. What if it was for good cause? Then would you be willing? I want to stage fight here in Dugga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels and good about himself And I'm not a melee himself character, himself so I really don't want to get in a bar fight. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Gonna need some more information. Okay. I have this all thought out. Yeah, Brainiac, you do. I have you contacts. Do. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Dugga. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. I am not made out of money. Dad, come on. Why do I wear also, these goofy clothes? You are doing this out of kindness of heart for Travis. Who is a good man? I don't even know the guy. I have everything you ready do by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up, and it will go well. Promise. Well, when you roll your R's that way, I guess I have to. Silver tongue Vadim. Creepy surgeon wandering around at night. Nothing wrong with that guy at all. Money, she must go. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. A place to wait. It's all he understands. So yes. What? What are you saying? Money, she must go. No, no, that's in the other room. What are you saying? Money, she must go. Tell me a joke. Money, she must go. <laughs> yes. And you only sell noodle cups. With 30 caps. You are worthless. I'm only here to wait. Let's get to business hours in the wasteland, which, strangely enough, is the same as business hours always were. Mm-hmm. Keep stirring, man. Okay. Let's go give Mo his stuff. Any luck getting those relics? You know, the future of baseball could depend on them. Got them all right here. <laughs> I like your gumption. I like your Let gumption. Let me take a look. <sighs> this baseball. It's the real deal. 
you'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. cards of my own. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. It says RBI. Check out the leather on that mid. Ah. Really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact. Well, I'm keeping his glove then. That's everything on the list. <laughs> Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. That's all I ever wanted to be. Oh, that butthole didn't give me the idiot spot. Mo, fuck off, man. Maybe a little stoner over here will do better. Hey, man. Hey, you find any mutated fern for me? Got a lot of plans for that plant. Found the plant. Here you go. All right. Here's your payment, plus some samples from the pharmacy. Don't take them all at once now. Moderation. Now, I don't mean to be a drag, but I got a business here. Yeah, I got psycho buff out. That makes up for... Not looking to buy right now. That's cool. It's not too bad. You read that article in Public Occurrences? Damn sense could be anywhere. Weren't you the one that just told me that it was just paranoia? No Starting to drink the Kool Aid, man. Yeah? Dunn is up here. It's clearing his throat. Oh, getting ready for his speech. Go ahead, man. All right, fine. You have a big job ahead of you, Don't buddy. Don't touch the paint. Don't worry, I won't. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community everybody. service. What do you say? Happy to help yeah, out. Yeah, only because he's one character that looks older than I am. Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Respect Hardware your town. elders. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint. Anywhere's a hard hat like a I hundred do. caps in your pocket. How does that sound? You big spender, you. Only if you throw in some more money. A good Samaritan uh, doesn't work without nitpicking the details. Suit. Hundred caps, no more. Fine. Actually, I already have some paint right here. Well, can of paint ain't that the end all be all? Why don't you go ahead and put a little of that paint on the wall? See what I got to work with. Show me what you're working with. Every citizen. And while the paper might okay. point their green paint at synths and other ghost stories. Working hard. Apart, green monster never looks so good. That's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. Very carefully. I am happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show the wasteland, respect. but you can still be polite. There's your payment. And a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? Respect your elders. That's what happens. We get God idiots of honor. Bless this city. God bless the wall. That I just painted. Yep, God bless it. Wow. That little crowd is making quite a ruckus. Look at that. I got two levels up. I told you I'd forget to do it. Okay, looks like we got some upgrades we can do. Oh, there's my throwing arc. Loving it. All right. Since I got all my stuff ready to go, before we get into anything else, we're going to go ahead and call it a part here. Far too busy to Shut talk up, right McDonough. Now. I'm the mayor. After I know all. you're the mayor. All right. Well, thanks for joining me on Mad Cardigan, guys. And uh, be good, behave, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.